As Ukraine endures a power crisis, join our teams bringing you the latest developments in this war. This hospital has been without heating for almost a week. Those people who are still staying in the town are too afraid to go out. There's no power here. People, they just pass you like shadows. See the headlines as they happen with breaking news alerts in the app and get the full story with bbc.com forward slash news. Follow the story for all the latest with BBC News. This is BBC News, I'm David Eads with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Russia launches another wave of missiles at cities across Ukraine, including the capital, Kyiv. The authorities had warned Ukrainians that Russia could launch more attacks. Uh, President Zelensky uh, said that Russia wanted Ukrainians to celebrate the new year in the dark. World leaders pay tribute as the Vatican announces the death of former Pope Benedict XVI at the age of 95. Benedict led the Catholic Church for nearly eight years until 2013, when he became the first Pope in 600 years to resign. World health officials call on Beijing to share accurate COVID data as England becomes the latest country to control arrivals from China. And it's a time for celebrations. They are now underway in Athens to mark the start of 2023 there. This is the scene live over the Acropolis. Thanks very much for joining us. Russia has launched another barrage of missiles at cities across Ukraine in the second big attack in three days. A number of explosions were heard in the centre of the capital, Kyiv, and residents there have been told by the authorities to stay in their shelters. From there, Hugo Pachega sent this report. On New Year's Eve, Kyiv gets pounded. In the heart of the capital, a hotel is hit. Luckily, no one was here. In this residential district, more destruction. This video was filmed moments after the attack. Aliona was at home when it all happened. Me and my husband were literally thrown into the corridor. We heard glass shattering and then there was an explosion, one after another. We came to the street and saw ambulances and casualties. You can see the point of impact where debris from a missile that was intercepted fell from the sky. One person was killed there, a mother of two who was in the kitchen making dinner to celebrate the new year. President Zelensky accused Russia of deliberately targeting civilians. Several waves of missile strikes on New Year's Eve missiles against the people. Those who did this are inhuman and they've lost. In Russia, President Putin delivered his traditional New Year's address. This time, recorded in front of soldiers in uniform. He said troops were fighting to guarantee peace and security for Russia. But in Ukraine, after another day of attacks, people wonder when they will finally have peace and security. Hugo Mashega, BBC News, Kyiv.